This video is called A Face Flashes When I Orbit, and it's about a phenomenon called Z-fighting in SketchUp. This is a video for Chapter 16 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, this is Z-fighting. Ready? I'm going to take the circle tool and draw a circle here, and then I'm going to draw a circle there. And then look what happens when I orbit. Ugh, okay, so what's happening there is I've got two surfaces, basically the surface here that defines this circle, and the surface there that defines that circle, and those two surfaces, or faces, in SketchUp are in exactly the same plane, so they exist in the same space. And the problem is SketchUp can't decide whether to show this face or this face. This face is uh, white, and this face is purple. Um, so it just kind of does this kind of crinkled tinfoil um, effect to try and show you that there's two faces there, and it can't decide which one to show. Um, and that's called that's called Z fighting, and I'm not sure why it's called Z fighting, but when somebody talks about Z fighting, that's what Z fighting is. There's no real way to get rid of this kind of thing except to take away one of the faces. And in this case, with two overlapping uh, circles, the only way to do that is to actually trace one of these guys like that. So I'm going to kind of trace there. I'm going to go from here to there. Let's go from here to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this end over here, from the point of intersection out to the end point, intersection out to the end point. And what I've got now is you'll see that these edges are nice and thin, meaning they're actually cutting through. And same thing over here, nice and thin, cutting through. But what I don't have um, is, uh, is, is just one face yet. So what I need to do is select that point of intersection here, this face that represents the intersection between these circle, two circles, and um, erase it. And when I do that, I'll have gotten rid of that duplicate face. Now, you're more likely to see Z-fighting when you do things like this. So let's say I've got a little box, and I take that whole box and I make it into a group, just like this. And then I actually go over here and kind of draw something on top of it, and then I sort of draw, I kind of move this around, and you'll see that I've got a face on top of this other face. That's a good example of when I'm going to have Z-fighting. So if I get rid of this second face, I don't have that Z-fighting anymore. Another time that you might have Z-fighting is when you have, let's say, something like this, and I pop that up and get rid of, oops, let's see, get rid of this top surface and then draw, I don't know, a line across the back of this guy, like that. There we go. Do an edge. Um, and then, actually, you know what? A better example would be to take this and extrude out a copy, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is put a line across the back of this face here. There we go. And I can't see that line from this thickness, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and say I want to put a door in here. So I'm going to take my push-pull tool and just kind of push that back. And I would think that this would just push it all the way back, right? And it sh this should cut a hole through those surfaces. When I do that, though, I end up with some strangeness. Now, sometimes you'll get Z-fighting there, and this time I didn't, but for whatever reason, sometimes you do get it there. And, and the only thing you can really do there is to go here and take your line tool and just start getting rid of stuff like this. There we go. When I do that, um, all of a sudden, I'm going to have the opportunity to take away edges. And oop, that's still a thick line, so I'm going to have to retrace it, just like that. And then I can take my select tool, select that, and oops, there was a duplicate face there, but it wasn't giving me Z-fighting behavior. I've got to re-delete the second face, and it's there. So it's kind of a confusing thing about SketchUp, um, the whole Z-fighting phenomenon. It, at least it happens so that you know when you have two faces, um, but that's basically why these things are flashing. The only thing you can do is try and take one of them away. All right, that's the end of this video for Chapter 16 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.